All right, so I'm setting out on a little camping trip today, going to Horse Pasture Road. And one thing I like to do is I walk through and make sure I have enough fluids um, for what I'm gonna need. Got some spare oil down there. And got my pillows and just some um, extra clothes like sleeping in and when it gets um, cold. Brought some drinks and some snacks and I got all my kitchen supplies ready to go. Recovery tracks to level out camp or get unstuck. Um, I don't have the bed set up right now um, cause I can just do that when I get to camp. It takes about a minute and I always bring extra tools and I already checked over the fluids and the engine topped everything off. Make sure you never forget your charger. Wave goodbye to your Civic Wagon and we'll go say goodbye to the other one before we head out. They'll miss me when I'm gone. Okay, and uh, ready to set off. And of course, coffee, which is essential. All right, let's go. All right, now that we've set off, um, one thing that you wanna do is um, just Google where you're gonna go camp. Um, how far away is it? Uh, roughly, you know, how much um, trail riding are you gonna be doing or off-road are you gonna be doing? How much gas do you need? So uh, go ahead and check your gas. And uh, of course you wanna to top off, but if you're gonna be going further than what your range is, and remember you burn more gas when you're off-road. It's a manual, so I gotta shift here with my hand. Um, you gotta, you're gonna need to make sure that you bring extra gas, you know, if you're going on a really long stretch of, uh, of trail. So, something to keep in mind. So here's a fun fact. That's all peach orchards, and uh, that's the foothills of the mountains in the back. This is Highway 11. And it's absolutely gorgeous, and I highly recommend if you ever go to the upstate of South Carolina, come check out Highway 11. It's got pretty views, um, and it's a very popular uh, road for motorcycles. And we got tons of peaches here. In fact, we produce more peaches than Georgia, which is the peach state, in just the upstate of South Carolina. It's pretty cool. So I just hit Horse Pasture Road, but um, the trailhead, or the parking lot that you, uh, drive by when you first get into Horse Pasture Road was completely filled up with trucks and empty trailers. And I didn't see anybody there. In fact, not only the parking lot, but even the side of the road um, had trucks and trailers, um, probably like, I don't know, 30 trucks and um, most of them had trailers. So I'm expecting there to be some sort of big event going on um, down this road. I've never been here, um, so I don't know exactly you know what's all here I do know so far it's you know really pretty you know out here in the in the woods the very top left corner of South Carolina um, which the upstate of South Carolina is the only place in South Carolina that you should be living in because it's the most beautiful area um, so yeah very much looking forward to uh, checking out what's down here um, yeah also as a public service announcement on the way here um, there was a vehicle that was um, driving extremely slow on the, the twisties. And there's lots of pullouts and stuff. And just kind of as like a courtesy, um, what you typically do is, you know, you pull over for vehicles that are trying to, you know, enjoy a nice, um, you know, weekend drive on the mountains. There was this really cool um, Miata with like a roll cage and like GoPros all over it. And there was just no place to pass. And I felt really bad. Like I pulled over and I ended up getting behind all of them. There was a 370Z. Um, that I pulled over for, they all drove past me, and uh, unfortunately, they got stuck doing 10 to 15 miles an hour up at the twisties um, coming up here because um, some people are just really inconsiderate when it comes to like uh, other people out, you know, for a pleasure drive, and just because they're in their big SUV, they're like, right, you can stick behind me, but that's not very polite. So um, I'm gonna keep driving down this road and pay attention because I've never been here before. And uh, yeah, just be a good driver, be a good dude, be a good chick. Okay, well so far, kind of like I um, suspected because of the trailhead and because it's a holiday and people got off a day after Thanksgiving. Um, it is very busy out here and lots of four wheelers and lots of motorcycles. And every pullout is uh, loaded with cars because of this view. It's amazing that stuff like this is here in South Carolina because we don't really have anything like this. 
And then here's the old uh, Desmond. So far, so good. So yeah, we'll keep going here, try and find a good camping spot. Um, Cause I got here on a Friday and uh, yeah, should be exciting. It's absolutely stunning out here. And I'm very impressed that roads like this are um, around here. So I looked up on the website and it said that there's 200 miles of these old logging roads around in this area. And uh, there's only four camping spots. So it's um, first come, first serve. So I'm glad I got here at, at least at noon on a Friday. Maybe I have a uh, hope and a prayer of finding a spot, but with as much traffic as I've been seeing, not really likely. So yeah, let's keep going. Wow, it is gorgeous up here. One of the best um, mountain roads I've ever driven on. It's absolutely stunning. Okay, sit rep, uh, which is situation report. Um, anyways, so I found some poop over there and uh, I also stepped in some poop, um, but I got the poop in the fire and uh, started it real nice. So that's kind of cool. Um, there really is no fire in here, and there is no sign that says camping. However, this is all I can find, and I'm pretty tired of driving around because um, I didn't realize how big the trails are. Ah, bleh, can't talk. How big the trails are over here. You can just drive for hours and hours and hours, and today is just, it's a holiday. I just did not expect how busy it would be. It is crazy, crazy busy out here. So many quads side-by-sides, um, four-wheelers, dirt bikes, even guys on bicycles, you name it, they're here. I have not had dinner. I need to get dinner. I, I, there is no wind, um, so I haven't anchored down these guys here yet, but I need to. Uh, starving, because I've been driving, trying to find a camping spot. I thought, oh, boy, man, I'll, I'll get here like at noon and, you know, get a good... Uh, claim a good spot and so it was the weirdest thing so on the map um you know how there's like designated camping spots well i went there and there was like these big military tents with like chimneys coming out of them and like a bunch of cars parked by them and it looks like someone's been established there for like a minute see how good the poop burns it's pretty incredible um i need to put some bigger stuff on here in a sec um yeah so i still need to set up camp i have some thanksgiving leftovers that i'm going to put in a pot and put in some coals and cook it on the poop fire, which should be extra delicious. Um, don't know if it's human or what. There's some grass in it, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's not human, but I don't know. Um, there are black bear out here and deer, and that's pretty much all the, the big game. Um, probably all scared off by now uh, because of all those four-wheelers going by. So yeah, now I figured out why I was so busy at the entrance. I got my bug nets up. It's uh, kind of warm today, which is really not normal. But uh, there are no bugs, really. So I'm pretty lucky like that because when there's bugs, it's just not nice. Um, 
I got my table set up and uh, yeah, ready to get some food going and get this all set up because it gets dark at like uh, five o'clock, which sucks. So I'll see y'all in a sec. Okay, the sun has officially gone down and I got some lamb going with some stuffing and heating up my piece of bread right there. Got the uh, cereal set up with the bed, the kitchen, got my lantern out. Um, nice quiet spot, no breeze, but the, excuse me, burping here. I got a, um, uh, just a basic wine. Um, probably drink this whole bottle because it's delicious. Uh, and I'm a basic white boy. Ugh, here's my fork. And yeah, the breeze is the little bit of breeze that there is is going that way, which is a good thing because I'm sleeping in there. And I don't really like sleeping when it's all like uh, smoky. So I got a little bit of uh, firewood. And I don't have a shirt on. Because I got hot, I know. And it's like November. It's crazy. Um, 70 degrees today. But the weather for the rest of the week is looking to get really chilly. So I'm looking forward to that. It was a good day. Looking forward to getting into my bed. And I'm going to look over what I recorded today. Pretty excited about finding this new place to come and chill and drive around hopefully find a time when more people are in school or more people are at work because it was very there you are it was very busy today and uh oh my eyes are bloodshot why okay so yeah i'm uh, um, heating up my meal here and getting bed soon Okay, well, that's it. That's all she wrote for today. It's been pretty cool just uh, getting to go out and finding out new roads in South Carolina that I didn't... Um, well, I knew was here. I just never explored before. And uh, Horse Pasture Road was pretty cool. A lot of the little uh, roads you can drive down and um, end up in pretty cool camping spots like uh, I have here tonight. So, yeah, hopefully it'll quiet down after a little bit. Every once in a while, like a group of 10 or so four-wheelers and motorcycles and side-by-sides drive by. You know, probably all from that parking lot. Um, yeah, I didn't do any recording when I was down actually by the uh, by the water. You know, the road that, that leads down to it. There was just too many people there and a bunch of four-wheelers showed up. And, you know, just give people their space. And, um, yeah, so I would want my space. You know, I wouldn't want anyone to roll up on my camp spot and be like, yo. You know, actually, I lie. If someone rolled up and was like, yo, I was like, I'd be like, yo, you can camp here. That'd be cool. You know? So... I don't know, I guess it would depend. If they wanted to bar my fire, that'd be okay. I, I would ship my fire. It's a pretty good fire. Anyways. I'll see y'all later. You hear that? They're coming. Way down there. Alright. Have a good night, y'all. Thanks for hanging out. Oh, yeah. Noisy. Oh, that one's pretty cool. It's got lights on it. Uh-huh. It's still pretty early, so, you know, whatever. This is a fun run to road. Fun run to road. Road to run. Wow. I must be pretty tired. Or I'm just dyslexic. See, there's a couple more. Oh, that one's driving around without any lights on. That's pretty ballsy. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you all that.